Seneca City, the most corrupt city in all of America. Feels like every day this city sinks further down the drain. Gone from skirmishes to out and out turf wars. I don't know where they're suddenly getting all this cash, but it don't bode well for the city. Today marks the day as Seneca City is named murder capital of the U.S. He is Jim Baylor, former super cop, framed for murder. Now he's back to clean up the city. Look, I'm private, Jim. Just like I always talked about. Crime is out of control, so it's on the agencies to pick up the slack. We got bounties, recoveries, and security contracts piling up like you wouldn't believe. City's gone to hell, but business is booming. America used to be a place for the pioneers, the hard workers. We gotta burn it all down so as we build it back up. A reset for the movement, and a reset for Seneca City. And the new guy? Whatever. He's expendable, and he doesn't know anything. But a secret plot born from evil threatens to tear the city apart. We need to exercise some caution going forward. There are too many unpredictable variables, too many threads, and I'm not willing to risk exposure. Not now, not after all of this work. Your continued insistence on indulging your ego makes me question your commitment to our cause. If you knew how deep our roots go here, you'd never sleep, my friend. In Rough Justice 84, 